is rest conversations couch conversations couch conversations conversations peace and blessings family welcome back to another couch conversation of course we're going to pick up with um second corinthians chapter eight um, and you all know what to do. Get your pens, your paper, and your Bibles. And we're going to get into couch conversation. And we all know Zahara did chapter um, 7 um, last week. And um, Paul was actually going through the, you know, the letter that he had to write to them. And, you know, sometimes you got to get on Israelites yes. like that. You know, yes. and it makes you feel bad the way you have to. Yeah. Um, you know, talk to them and, you know, get on to them, but it was for their good, though, mm -hmm. because Paul, he ended up saying, I like the end results, because yes. <laughs> you were <repented laughs> it from right. that. And so, we're going to go ahead um, with any further, without any further ado, we're going to pick up with verse 1 in chapter 8. All right. Moreover, brethren, we do you we do you to wit of the grace of God bestowed on the churches of Macedonia. All right. And Paul here is saying, he says, we want you to know, brethren, of the grace. That is the kindness of that um, God, the kindness of God that has been given to the churches of Macedonia. Mm -hmm. And so just like God showed his kindness or his grace, um, the same way we should be showing our kindness or our grace to those who are in need. Because this chapter 8 is about giving. Mm -hmm. Okay? Verse 2. Mm -hmm. How that in a great trial of affliction, the abundance of their joy and their deep poverty abounded unto the riches of their liberality. All right. He says, how that in great trial of affliction. Mm -hmm. And so the churches of Macedonia, they were being tested greatly. Mm -hmm. um, but their joy was still abundant. Mm -hmm. To be able to suffer, go through trials and tribulations, and not only be in poverty, but be in deep poverty and still have joy. That's a true saint there. Mm -hmm. And most people throw in the towel, yeah. give up, <laughs> and run from it. But he says, but, you know, but they, and and not only that, they overflowed their riches. Um, they should still overflow in their rich generosity towards the saints in their giving. And then they, they, they gave this freely. And you see that Zahari, it says that in great trial of affliction. Great trial. So this lets you know your faith is going to be on trial. Mm. But during this affliction or this trial, can you still take the little bit that you have and give? Um, but I can say for you all saints who are watching, just like those the two times that Israel's church yes. has asked you all to give, y'all was like these Macedonians. Yes. Y'all yes. didn't waste no time. I mean, y'all showed up, and matter of fact, y'all exceeded what Exceed, the people have asked. Like, Whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. yes. That's love right there. That's now. real love. Mm -hmm. Y'all didn't waste no time. Mm -hmm. You didn't ask went questions. In. Is they trying to get? Mm -hmm. Is it legitimate? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, you just did it. Just went Because you saw a need. And you met that need. Because mm -hmm. you thought about what if it was me? Mm -hmm. yes. What if it was my children? Yes. So you said um, you was... Loving your neighbor, yes, as yes. you love your own self. Mm -hmm. That's right. And then for you all to be able to do, and I mean, y'all gave great, greatly. Great. I was and, like, whoa. It's so hard just think about it. The C nineteen mm -hmm. is going on. A lot of people were losing jobs. Yes. Did, you know, um, their houses, but y'all still gave. Was giving. That's a blessing. Mm. And that that was and you really know the Lord said appreciated. If you, if you lend none to me. Mm hmm. And that's what you know when you're giving, you you giving lending you lending on him. him. You yes. know he's going to get it by be. That's right. Mm -hmm. And so Israel's church is really thankful yes. for um, y'all being like these uh, Macedonian churches. Boy, y'all go in when it's time to give. Mm. But let's go to Mark chapter 12, okay. verse 41 through 44. Okay. And it reads, And Jesus sat over against the treasury, 
and beheld how the people cast money into the treasury. And many that were rich cast in much. And Zahara, we know <laughs> here in Babylon, especially in the Sunday churches, the ones who sit over the treasury, yep. that's be them deacons. Yep. Mm -hmm. They can count each 10 being dropped 20. <laughs> for, they know the count for the money you take back there. I think we collected past about 20 grand this week. <laughs> But Jesus sat over against the treasury and he was just being observant mm -hmm. of what people were putting in um, to the treasury. 42. And there came a certain poor widow and she threw in two mites which make a farthing. And he called unto him his disciples and saith unto them, Verily I say unto you that this poor widow have cast more in than all they which have cast into the treasury. For all they did cast in of their abundance, but she of her want did cast in all that she had, even all her living. All right. Mm. So, wow. You know, this widow woman, you think about this widow woman, she cast in all that she had. All. It says even all mm. of her living. I mean, she gave it all. Mm. But you also had rich giving, but they were giving out of their abundance. And she gave out of what her need. She was in need herself. Mm. But just like these Macedonians, she still gave all gave. that she had. Now, mind you, saints, when you are a widow, widow, that's one person. She didn't have no extra income coming in from no husband. He was dead. She was a widow. Mm. But, but look at her faith mm. and her love. Um, for the church that she would be able to cast in to the treasury mm. her two two mites and you know I have <laughs> I know me and brother went uh, Reginald you know years ago when we was in the uh, Sunday church one preacher said he don't want to hear no change <laughs> him, no. That, that, them two mites cast in yeah. there he would have threw them yeah. back this is <laughs> He this he he only wanted he said he Cash. only wanted to hear some he better have some paper some paper and he didn't want to hear no jingle. Mm. Yeah. But what if that's all that that person have to give? And see that's what the mm. Lord looking at. What are you giving out of your abundance? Because it's easy to give when you got plenty, but mm. can you have that same mindset to give when you in deep poverty mm. like these Macedonians? Mm. That's something to think about, y'all. All right. Now we're going to go back to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 3. All right. For to their power I bear record, yea, and beyond their power they were willing of themselves. All right. And so Paul said, for their for to their power I bear record. And so basically he's saying I can testify on their behalf mm. that they gave as much as they could. And even that they gave um, beyond their ability, and they did this willingly. They didn't have to be coerced with no two-point sermon on how to give. <laughs> right. give. This is your season, this is your harvest. <laughs> It'll be given to you pressed down. You sow a seed. <laughs> That's right, cash your bread on the water. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Paul said that they were what? Willingly Willing. of themselves. Mm. Because it was in their heart to take care of others that was in need. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing like wanting to take care of somebody in need when you have been in need yourself so you know yes. what it's like. Because mind you, they're in deep poverty. Mm -hmm. And so when you're in not poverty, deep, well, how deep can deep. you go <laughs> with poverty? Mm -hmm. So that means they was pretty, um, not pretty well off the to-do of mm -hmm. the Israelites. No, they were in deep poverty, but they were still willing to give not out of their abundance, but they in deep poverty. Mm. Okay, verse 4. Praying us with much entreaty that we would receive the gift and take upon us the fellowship of the ministering to the saints. All right. And Paul said praying us. I mean, I mean, Zahara, they was begging us mm. to take the offering from them. Paul probably was like, no, y'all. Yeah, because you need it. Y'all need it. Mm. Mm -mm, you're going to take this. You ever seen somebody like you give yeah, a ride? Yeah, yeah. And then they be like, he go 10 for gas. You be like, no, I don't want you. you and they be just, like, no, take, take, this take, take You mm. sitting there going back and forth. Well, this is what was going on, but... The, the, but Paul said they begged us to take the offering from them, and and 
to what to allow them to participate in the giving um, to the saints because they really wanted to be a blessing to the poor saints and you know they had a lot of those poor saints was in Jerusalem mm -hmm. okay and so this is where that money was going to those saints wow. there mm -hmm. right so let's look at 2 Corinthians 9 and verse 7 okay right next door and it reads Every man according as he purposeth in his heart, so let him give, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loveth a cheerful giver. All right. And didn't it say that they was excited? Mm -hmm. They abounded with joy to give, and they were in deep poverty. But here Paul says, it says, every man according as he purposeth in his heart. So once you put this thing in your mind, I'm going to give 100, but then when you get back there, you say, oh, I don't forget. I want to go out to eat, so I'm gonna keep biting. and you're gonna do an ad analysis and safari. <laughs> Whatever right. you put in your heart to give, just give, give, it. give that, mm -hmm. because otherwise it's gonna what? It says you're gonna to want to give it. You don't want to give it grudging. You don't want to give See, it grudging. See, give him a hundred. I know you want to give him a hundred, but I don't. no. So he don't. Don't do that. But <laughs> don't get some hand nails with it. Mm -hmm. you, know, you might as well, well keep, keep it. it. Yes. Just keep it. Mm -hmm. Or of necessity. Um, mm -hmm. Don't give if you know you can't afford to, because if you know you're in need um, and you give this little bit, then, you know, the shoe going to be on the other foot and then they're going to have to take a collection for you. Right. And so don't put yourself in a situation to where you know you're going to really be in need, in need as yeah. well. Yeah, you but hey, up need. yes, but if you wanted them kind, like the mm -hmm. widow woman, you can give all that you have, um, then you do that. Right yes. Yeah. Because basically what she's saying, I know God will take care of me. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And mind you, it was just her. She a widow. Mm -hmm. She didn't have no extra income. Mm -hmm. Fall back on Brother Richard's pocket and look at them. <laughs> just slide me on them. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it says what? For God loveth a cheerful, a cheerful giver. Mm -hmm. So just imagine the, the, the great joy that the Macedonian churches when they gave, they gave, I mean, they was excited mm. to give, begging Paul to take the money. Mm. And we should know because have you ever asked somebody for something or somebody bringing you something and then they was like, me? Mm -hmm. mm. It make you be like, you know what, sis, it. just keep it. Yeah, just keep that. I don't want it. Mm. If I'm I, looking, huh. huh. Yeah. Mm -mm. Girl, just keep it. Yeah. I don't want that. Hell no, hell. Mm -mm. Like, <laughs> no, no, keep that. Mm -mm. I won't even take it. No, nope. no, thank you. Mm -hmm. You can keep that. You upset about it. You ain't got no cheer and <laughs> giving me. Don't yeah, just don't keep get... it. <laughs> right. Don't be murmuring and complaining and don't throw it in my face. <laughs> Remember what I gave? <laughs> yes, oh, no. you can uh -uh. put that bike in your pocket. That's right. Put it right back in there. <laughs> Okay, 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 5. And this they did, not as we hoped, but first gave their own selves to the Lord and unto us by the will of God. All right, and Paul said, yes, they did. And not only that, they exceeded what we had even hoped mm -hmm. um, they would give. But first, um, they gave their own selves, what, to the Lord. They made sure the Lord business was taken care of in the church. You know, because church, you got to, somebody got to turn the lights on. Yes. You know, you got equipment and all that, and I'm modernizing it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, take care of the Lord's business first, and then, then, and then what was left over, you know, they did that. They mm -hmm. helped the other saints, why, unto mm -hmm. this, what, by the will of God. Mm -hmm. It kind of reminds me of the law of gleaning, mm -hmm. you know, gleaning the harvest. Mm -hmm. You know, you had that harvest, but the Lord said, now this, leave, leave this him mm -hmm. for the poor, the widow, mm -hmm. the the jokers not eating everything. <laughs> they ain't eat even nothing. You ain't gleaning <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That's right. Two grapes left when they're going to take them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All and then you got to buy them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. Yeah, I mean, you know, the Lord was trying to show us how to take care of one another. Yes, yeah, and that's what it's always been about, because mm -hmm. he even told you there that the poor are going to always mm -hmm. be with you. Always. Mm -hmm. And we know that we still have the poor among us still today in the Israelite communities. Mm -hmm. 
But it's good to see that they took care of the Lord's business first, and then these Macedonians, they helped um, with, you know, by the will of God, they was able to help with the extra they had to the other churches in Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 6. In so much that we desired Titus, that as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. All right. In so much that we desire Titus, so um, that he, that as he had begun, so he would also finish in you the same grace also. And so because the churches of Macedonia um, was a blessing, you know, with the money that they were sending, Paul said that they urged Titus to finish his work that he had begun with the church of Corinth. And when mm -hmm. we read about that, what in chapter, um, in the first Corinthians chapter one, mm -hmm. not chapter one, but in first Corinthians, I can't remember the chapter, y'all, I'm getting old. Mm -hmm. And it says, and what, to finish the work with grace or with kindness. Why? Because all the collection that was taken up to, um, by the churches of Macedonia, um, that money could be used for what? For the brothers to be able to travel to the co to these different areas that they were going to minister to the saints for. Because when Titus comes somewhere, don't he got to have somewhere to lay yep. his head? Yep, he, he got to eat, mm -hmm. and so he got to have somewhere to lodge. You just can't be out there. And mind you, if he's doing the work of the Lord, how he working? That's true. And if he working, he he missing pay that week. Mm. And so, but that extra money went towards it. So now Titus is able to come back mm. and finish up that work he had. Mm. Okay. Verse 7. Mm -hmm. Therefore, as ye abound in everything, in faith and utterance, and knowledge and in all diligence, and in your love to us, see that you abound in this grace also all right and so paul said therefore as you abound in everything and he's talking about these spiritual gifts here faith and knowledge and diligence and love he says so just like you abound or you excel in spiritual things like the faith knowledge and boy they knew that other because you know that them tongues oh yeah <laughs> paul had to, yeah, he, had to get on them. he had to get on them to about that but they were going to excel in the spiritual gifts and we as israelites we love to do that yes you know we we want the spiritual gifts in operations and then boy we know they were diligent about it too. yes boy they went in you put the work in with these gifts but he said remember Remember in 1 Corinthians in, in 12, he talked to them about the spiritual yes. gifts. But just like those spiritual gifts, you want to excel in those, make sure you excel in the area of giving mm. um, like the churches of Macedonia did. Make sure you excel in helping your sisters and brothers. Mm. You know, because we have people that, well, I mean, they'll work hard to you know, get that degree. I mean, they putting the work in yes. to do all that. But when it comes to helping their fellow sister or their fellow brother, they they, they mm -hmm. have them hands closed on. Mm -hmm. They don't want to put the work in. They don't excel in um, helping one another. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I know when I grew up, that was a big thing. You helped your neighbor out. You know, she needed an egg. You walk, your mama say, go down there and give Miss Smith an egg. You take the egg down there and you go mm. flour, mm. whatever they needed. Israelites took care of one another. But then we got started being able to get houses and cars yeah. and start mingling Same. with the other nations. Mm. You could forget it. We took on their attitude mm. and brought it into our communities. Mm. And now we look at each other like we crazy. We Don't ask me mm. for nothing. Get mine yeah. like you get yours. She always did. Mm -hmm. Let us go to Deuteronomy 15 and 11. But it could be you down there, big. That's right. Mm -hmm. Okay. It reads, For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command thee, saying, Thou shalt open thine hand wide unto thy brother to thy poor and to thy needy in thy land all right mm. and that's what we see the churches of macedonia they remember they were in deep poverty mm. but he but it says for the poor shall never cease out of the land that's very telling there mm. so then did you know all israelites ain't going to be rich and that shows me too that that's why i'm glad 
um, Brother Reggie Jr. did that um, yes. lesson on get out of debt. Debt because you don't want to be one of these poor that ain't never see side of the land. That's right. Because that means you're not receiving the instruction that you need to not be poor. And if you all haven't checked out that lesson, y'all really yeah, need check to. check it out. Mm-hmm. But he said, but it's a commandment for us that do have that we open up our hand wide. Mm-hmm. To, the, to thy brother and to thy poor and to the needy in thy land. And how we do it here at Israel's church, we open our hand wide with this here. That's right. So that you can get it in here mm. so that you won't have to be dependent on someone else. Mm. But yet and still for those who are in deep need, especially those who have children that are dependent oh, on yes. them, we really um, love to help those. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. All right, let us go back to 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 8. Okay, it reads, I speak not by commandment, but by occasion of the forwardness of others, and to prove the sincerity of your love. All right, so Paul said he wasn't speaking this as a command, but Mm. he just testing to Mm. see your sincerity in giving to um, other saints. Can you pay it forward? Um, when it's been paid for mm. to you, you know, can you do the same thing when someone helps you? Can you help them when they need? Because mm. Israel, they have short term memory. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get rich and can't remember. Yeah. They don't remember nothing. The hood ghetto, nothing else. <laughs> That's right. It's just me and me mm-hmm. and all my stuff. Mm. And y'all ain't gonna get none of it. Mm. That's the wrong attitude. Okay. Mm. Verse Mm 9, for you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sakes he became poor, that ye through his poverty might be rich. All right, let us go to John chapter 1 and verse 46. There's some good eating right here. I wish I could sit all this real down and let them <laughs> see this. Cause we don't know how to love one another. No, no. When we see the other nations, we got fervent passion yes. in oh, giving man. and giving and helping. Mm-hmm. Yes. As a matter of fact, be. they'll step talk across your head. Sure will. <laughs> Trying to get them, make sure they got <laughs> <laughs> Okay. So John chapter 1 and verse 46. Okay. And Nathaniel said unto him, can there anything, uh, can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, come and see. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded just like an Israelite when you said that. <laughs> yes. Mm-hmm. All right. And this is that same Jesus that was rich, but he came poor for mm. our sakes. And look what Nathaniel said. And Nathaniel said unto him, can there anything good come out of Nazareth? And of course, Philip said, come see. <laughs> but what was it that came out of Nazareth? Can you read verse 45? 40, uh, 45. Philip findeth Nathanael and said unto him, We have found him of whom Moses in the law and the prophets did write, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. All right. So mm. that's what came out of Nazareth. Mm. And when you look at a lot of these preachers, they ain't come out of no place with no silver spoon gold mm-hmm. no they come out the hood yes <laughs> and i can test to y'all that yes there are good things that come out of nazareth yes you know because just think about this nazareth i think of it as what we would call the hood mm. or the ghetto mm. and or the good things come out of there that everybody come to the hood to steal right to come get our ideas mm. our adventures so don't ask me if mm. anything can good come out the hood because mm. yes it can and it has, and y'all look at it every day. That's right. Go look at the White House. Mm. Go look at the roads, the rail trains, the even the um, trucks with the, um, the the truck beds on the on yes. the back. That's 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 an Israelite invention. They came to the hood to get yes. that. Mm. And you know the swirlers are call it Blackistan. Oh yeah. Well, you need to read this. That's right. Show better. You need to read that. Can anything ASAP. good come out of Blackistan? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. That's right. It can and it still is. But guess what? You ain't worthy to participate in yeah. it. So, so get going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Let's look at Luke 2. Luke 2. 
Go on over there with bread. Yeah. Go over there and leave. Leave Blackistan alone. That's leave right. Nazareth we alone. We don't need you. <laughs> over here. Luke 2, 6 through 7. Okay. And it reads, And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And this is Mary pregnant with the Messiah. And she brought forth her firstborn son and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. All right. Now, a person with money, they ain't got to go to no inn because they're going to have a summer house, right. their winter house, mm -hmm. and have that baby right there wherever in the comfort of her own home mm -hmm. or some fancy hospital. <laughs> <laughs> But it says what she she laid him in a manger. He didn't have no crib. He didn't have a manger. She couldn't go to uh, Bye Bye Baby. Yeah. <laughs> and make up some target <laughs> list. What they call that thing? The, the, the her baby registry. Yeah. No, she laid him in a manger. <laughs> a manger. And you think what the mangers? That's the stuff that the, the um cows and stuff they eat their yeah. stuff. She didn't have no uh. What's that little baby thing? That little carrier and yeah, all that carrier. Nope, no, nope. none of that. Right here, why? Because mm. she was poor. Mm. But look, she's rich now and carrying the Messiah. Mm. Oh, Mary gonna be straight oh, children yeah. in the kingdom. Mm -hmm. You know, said Joseph too, because mm. even though he was a stepfather, he was a good mm. man. And you let Helpha sit around and tell you to abort church. Yes, you idiot, you darn mm. foolish woman. Yes. All this goodness coming out of me. If it's a black man, you better get rid of it. Y'all better get ready because y'all got me. some loan slumping coming. I hate even hear that them words yeah. coming out their mouth. She didn't mind. She didn't mind. Mm -mm. Right there with her broke man, as y'all would say. He wasn't no six feet. <laughs> Joseph was your six feet. Yeah. Hmm? But no, he took her on. And Showed that baby, it. and yeah. took care of her. Mm. And what? She's blessed as a result of it. Mm. But y'all wouldn't have been worthy to carry him aside because you wouldn't be no virgin. Right. <laughs> Pulling yourself around anyway. Right. Mm -mm. Mm. All right, let me get back. Mm. I'll be I'm telling you, man. That subject there. Mm -hmm. It's a disappointment to see what these. Yes. And I can't even call your sisters yeah. to see what these things done turn themselves into. All for the, to think that another nation of people gonna right. excel you above mm -hmm. the curses that's written right. in Deuteronomy twenty eight. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You like can't Lord, outrun them. That's right. You ain't gonna outrun. You can't outmarry them curses. Mm -hmm. He said they are gonna pursue you and overtake you. Mm -hmm. That's right. And matter of fact, the same curses on you, the ones you marry outside of your nation, is coming from them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's Let me right. go marry my curses. Mm -hmm. marry That's my pretty curses. much what they oh, say. Jesus. <laughs> you marry your curses. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let us go to second, back to 2 Corinthians chapter 8 and verse 10. It reads, And herein I give my advice. For this is expedient for you, who have begun before, not only to do, but also to be for a year ago. All right, so Paul said, here is my advice. It's good for you to finish what you started a year ago. Mm -hmm. um, you was the first who wanted to give, and you was the first to begin giving. Mm -hmm. And so he's telling them, you know, my advice is that you keep doing that. Don't stop um, wanting to give and pursue giving. But let's go to 1 Corinthians 16 and 1 through 3. And this is where Paul is telling them about, because he said, you know, for them to start what they had started. And so this is where it started here. Okay. First Corinthians 16, one through three. Now concerning the collection for the saints, as I have given order to the churches of Galatia, even so do ye. Upon the first day of the week, let every one of you lay by him in store as God have prospered him that there be no gatherings when I come. And when I come, whomsoever ye shall approve by your letters, then will I send to bring your liberality into Jerusalem. All right, and this is what Paul was referring to right there, mm. for them to continue 
just like they did here in what you just read in 16, 1 through 3. Um, but Paul said that because when Paul come, he don't want y'all. So when Israel, y'all know we take too long to get yeah. anything. Stop. <laughs> Paul said, have all that business taken care of <laughs> when I come. Because yeah. we just, we, we, we just, do, we take forever mm -hmm. to do stuff. I'm like, yes. come on. And Paul ready to teach this book <laughs> and get in this word. So, you know, Israel mm -hmm. get the playing around. I remember when I used to hoop. <laughs> I used to go to the park and hoop. We got all the Israelites out there. It took them forever to start a pickup game. I'm like, come on, y'all. <laughs> How they adjusting the shorts and yeah. laces. Hold on, let me smoke. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, I'm coming. Yeah. Let me hit one more. <laughs> That's it, <Israel. Let> me... <laughs> <laughs> We got to do too much. So Paul was like, get this together. So when yes. I come, all I got to do is collect it for it to be taken back mm -hmm. to Jerusalem. Yeah. He, we know he had his experience. <laughs> all right. So let's go back to 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 11. Now therefore perform the doing of it, that as there was a readiness to wield, so there may be a performance also out of that which ye have. All right. So in other words, Paul said, now finish what you started and let the eagerness you show in the beginning be matched by um, your giving according you giving according to your means you know because a lot of people they like i said they don't have the means to give but when you do be eager god be loves eager. a cheerful gift yes. you know so this let you know that boy this second corinthians they, these corinthians they had some good qualities boy but paul yeah. had to do some work he mm -hmm. had to get two letters <laughs> first corinthians and second <laughs> And so Paul is working on them about their giving is giving because it when I guess he's saying, you know, and I look at the Macedonians and him dealing with them knowing they was in deep poverty. Mm -hmm. And if they could give, man, y'all yeah. second y'all Corinthians, mm -hmm. y'all have that same eagerness mm -hmm. that you had in the beginning. What's beautiful about this, what I'm getting out of these letters, is you're seeing that in the, their return to the covenant. Yes. Trying to relearn. Mm -hmm. Yes. All of these things exactly. that you're supposed to do and giving being one of them. Yes, that's you right. You have to be taught again. Mm -hmm. And that's what their experience is, what they're going through. How do we handle certain matters? Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're right. Because we've been out of, um, you know, who we are, our heritage, you know, our laws, statutes, and commandments. We've been operating in the system of the world, you know, of the heathens and we don't operate like this. We are, we are, we have um, our own laws. So that, that's a good point. So uh -huh. we're experiencing the same thing. Same thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Having to teach each other how to learn and love again. Mm -hmm. How to take care of one another. How yes. to give. And all right. these different things. How to handle certain situations when they come up with circumstances. Mm -hmm. how to, that's how you know they was returning to the covenant. Yes. Yes. That's right. <clears throat> okay. Verse 12. Verse 12. For if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that a man hath, and not according to that he hath not. All right. So it says first, um, for if there be first a willing mind, it is accepted according to that man what he has and not according to that he hath not. So in other words, it doesn't matter. Um, how much you have, what matters is how much are you willing to give from what you have. Mm -hmm. That's what matters. Mm -hmm. And let's go to Exodus 25. Exodus 25 and verse 1. And nope, that ain't it. Oh, that's, that's not it. Because verse 1 said, and the Lord spoke up to Moses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what was I finna pull from there? Okay, if I can't find it, we're gonna go. Unless you have one that you can add. Um. Oh, we can do so one, and two. Okay, one, one and two. One and two. I just okay. left off the two. So we're gonna do Exodus <laughs> twenty-five, one and two. My goodness, <laughs> it happens. I'm, sometimes I do that. Yeah, I write the blessings. Yeah, did I, I wrote it on in my head? I wrote it down, but I guess I didn't write it physically, y'all. All right. So Exodus chapter twenty-five, one and two. Okay. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, 
Speak unto the children of Israel that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly with his heart. You shall take my offering. All mm. right. So it, so we know Paul wasn't just making stuff he up. He wasn't making it so up. So he would quote it in another way. Mm. But yet he, he is quoting Exodus 25. Mm. And the Lord said, he said, of every man that giveth it what willingly. Willingly. So yep. Lord saying, don't give it me any kind of way. Yeah, you give it grudgingly yeah. and all that. You can keep that. <laughs> <laughs> and told Mo, don't even take it for an offering. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. But those who will willingly uh, want to bring this to me, giving it out of their heart, hey, I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And so we see that Paul was never making nothing up. He always used mm -hmm. the law. Mm -hmm. Because just like you just said, we're going back to teach our people, these Corinthians, mm -hmm. the way we operate in the law. So mm -hmm. he's bringing that law to them because we've been far removed mm -hmm. From our heritage, from our laws, from, from what the Most High expects from us. That's how we know it's not a new covenant. Mm -mm, mm -mm. That's right. It's same, still in that same covenant. Renew. Renew. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we in it. We mm -hmm. in the same covenant. Same covenant. <laughs> Ain't that something? <laughs> Mm. You talking about new, but then when you go in the book, you're reading the same thing. <laughs> okay, it's renewed, y'all. It ain't that hard. Okay. All right, so back to 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 13. For I mean not that other men be eased and ye be burdened. All right, so he's saying that, but I'm not saying that other men get, you know, you're going to relieve them because they're in need. And now you burdened because you gave. Mm. And now you're hard pressed for financial relief. Paul said, I'm not saying that. You know, but he what he's saying initially is take care of your brothers and sisters and do it willingly. Mm. You know, be be a cheerful giver. That's what he's saying. Mm. Don't do it grudgingly. Right. Okay. Verse 14. But by inequality, that now at this time your abundance may be a supply for their want, that their abundance also may be a supply for your want. That there may be equality. All right. So it's saying, but by inequality that now at the same time, your abundance may be a supply for their own. And so what you're going to do is you're going to show that same grace or that same court kindness what toward each other. And at this time, what you have plenty, he mm -hmm. says, and you're, you have abundance. So supply um, for their for their needs mm -hmm. or for their wants. Mm -hmm. And and when the time comes, their abundance also will gonna be a supply for your want. Mm -hmm. And so when it's when their if your time ever comes, they would give um to you when mm -hmm. you're in need. That's what mm -hmm. he's saying. And That's so what right. he's saying, we just we mm -hmm. taking care of, of, each, of each other. other. They he you ain't gotta run. Mm -hmm. Get on no food stamps and you know get the uh, government assistance wick and, and all that. Stuff, no, yeah. if we would have had this mindset, mm. you know, we wouldn't have to depend on um, these the other nations to take care of us. We wouldn't be called welfare queens, you know. Damn, that's right. Because we would have we would have came together and made sure you know our children were eating. And guess what? We wouldn't had to choose between oh if I get the stamps and the uh, WIC and the um, the government check, or my man got to leave, or if my man stay, we gonna be hungry. No, because me and my family gonna make sure you and your right. family are taking care of them because the time will come y'all gonna be um, raised up and you're gonna have an abundance and then what y'all to help another family and so forth and so and guess what. Our community is flourishing. Men still in the house, children being raised, and we still being women. But we we didn't do that. Okay. So verse 15. As it is written, he that had gathered much had nothing over, and he that had gathered little had no lack. All right. So we're going to see where it's written. Let's go to Exodus chapter 16 and 18. How Paul said it's written. Okay. Exodus chapter 16 and verse 18. And when they did meet it with an Omar, he that gathered much had nothing over, 
and he that gathered little had no lack. They gathered every man according to his eating. All right. Mm. And see, Paul just used this here <laughs> to give them an analogy of what was written. Mm -hmm. You know, as it had written, he had gathered much, had nothing over, and he that had uh, that had gathered little had no lack. In other words, they was taken care of. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go to, um, and I like that he said as it's written. See, he's as taking them back yes. to the law. That same to covenant. Our these Corinthians <laughs> are Israelites yep. reading their law. <laughs> okay, Second Corinthians thirty and verse seven. Oh, Did Proverbs. I say sex? Oh Lord, Proverbs. Proverbs. Okay, <laughs> I'm on a whole Proverbs too. <laughs> Proverbs chapter thirty seven through nine. All right, y'all. Two things have I required of thee: deny me them not before I die. All right. Remove far from me vanity and lies. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me. Lest I be full and deny thee and say, Who is the Lord? Or lest I be poor and steal and take the name of my God in vain. All right. So he said two things have I required of thee. And he said, Don't deny me these things. Um before I die. Mm -hmm. He says what remove far from me vanity and lies. Mm -hmm. Not sit up there, watch the TV yes. and believe everything <laughs> is safe on Instagram and Facebook, all that vanity mm -hmm. and all those lies. Mm -hmm. Because all initially he's saying, don't let me be deceived. That's what he's saying. Mm -hmm. And he says what give me neither poverty nor riches. Don't make me mm -hmm. too rich and definitely don't make me too mm -hmm. poor. Just give me what I need to live in my life. Mm. Though the things that are sufficient for me to survive. Mm. He didn't say, chase the bag <laughs> and let me be deceived. No. Right. <laughs> no. Uh -uh. No. And he said, what? Feed me with food convenient, convenient for, me. for me. But no, you got to have the finest of the finest. Yes. Just, no, you're going to eat according to the dietary law, and you're going to sit yourself down. That's right. You fool, be thankful for the bread yes. that the Lord has provided. Mm. I can't eat bread from now. Yeah. <laughs> I can't go to, mm, I don't drink that. <laughs> My water got to have come from Fiji. Mm -hmm. You better get, get you a water filter. And you better drink you some water. Because, <laughs> you know, you got people like that. <laughs> they are. It's for real. For yes. real. He said, what? Lest I be full and deny thee and say, who the Lord? Oh, mm. you, who you got the toothpick in now? Mm. You digging the meat out your teeth? Mm -hmm. Who the Lord? I got this. No, I don't need the Lord. Mm -hmm. It's and, like it said in Deuteronomy 8. They said, uh, I have made uh -huh. my hand have gotten me this mm -hmm. well. Yes, and that's how Israel get to when they mm -hmm. get something on. They don't know God, and they don't know their people. Zahar, look at us now. Mm -hmm. Cable, TV. <laughs> hmm? Yeah. You got furniture, four, five bedrooms, <laughs> three, two, three cars. You just, and what they don't deny the Lord. Yeah. Don't yep. even don't Show tell me how. about it. Mm -hmm. like I got a degree. Mm hmm I got PhDs and doctorates. I want to hear that Bible. Mm -hmm. That word. That's right. I'm the CEO <laughs> at this company. <laughs> Deny the Lord. Or he said, or lest I be poor and steal. Don't make me poor mm. either because you don't want to steal because then you got to break the law. Yeah. You want to do that and take the name of my God in vain because people going to say, hmm, you stealing, huh? Mm -hmm. You talking about you stirred in God yeah. of Israel. And that's going to make him look bad. Mm. Because what we do is reflection of, of the uh, Most High. Mm -mm. Okay. So now let's go back to 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 16. It reads, But thanks be to God, which put the same earnest care into the heart of Titus for you. All right. But he said, but thanks be to God who put... Um, and in the mind of Titus to have the same sincerity of care for you. Mm. Boy, they was, boy, this Titus was something mm, else. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Verse 17. For indeed he accepted the exhortation, but being more forward, 
of his own accord, he went unto you. All right. Mm. So it said Titus went to you on his own accord. Nobody had to mm. to prod him. Go on, go on down <laughs> there. You're going to teach him. You're going to get on. No. <laughs> no, because, you know, but Titus had that, that, that same earnest of care, that sincerity about because mm -hmm. he cared about the Corinthians. Mm. And so it said Titus went to you of what his own accord. And so Paul said, to be honest, even though he accepted your urging um, for you to come, you know, come and fight her. He wanted to come anyway. You didn't mm -hmm. have to urge Titus to come. Mm -hmm. He was wanting to come. Wow. On his own accord. Okay. Verse 18. And we have sent with him the brother whose praise is in the gospel throughout all the churches. All right. And so, so what he's saying, so what they're going to do is send another brother with Titus um, who all the um, churches praise for doing the good work of the Most High. That's who's going to, that's, and that's what it's got to get back to faithful brothers who love the word and love teaching the word to our people yes. and have that sincere care for them, learning about the laws that the Most High gave them in the beginning. I know that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse 19. And not that only, but who was also chosen of the churches to travel with us with this grace which is the ministered by us to the glory of the same Lord. All right. And declaration of your ready mind. All right. He said not only that, but he said this same brother, he was chosen by the churches to travel with them. Hmm. Um, what? So they, what, they can take that offering to Jerusalem, which is a gracious work because it was a great thing that they collected those funds to be able to help the saints in Jerusalem who was poor. And he said that we'll bring, that is what's going to bring the praise to the Lord and show your readiness to help. Man, the Corinthians, they even gave, they was ready to help too. And the Lord going to get praise for that. Mm -hmm. And then guess what? The next church, they're going to want to do the same mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Verse 20. Avoiding this, that no man should blame us in this abundance, which is administered by us. All right. And this is the key of said, but to what? Avoid this, that no man should blame us in the abundance which was administered unto us. And so what Paul is saying, we want to avoid any blame <laughs> with all this money we don't receive <laughs> that um that way no one that no one man is carrying the the, yes. the finances by himself, this money by himself. Cause you know as soon as money get missing, <laughs> Israel gonna get the blame. <laughs> yes. Because y'all know Israel. Mm -hmm. We'll be talking about Paul. I'm, you see that new cloak he got on? Because remember that money was missing. Mm -hmm. He got on new sandals. I seen Titus with new sandals on. <laughs> be out there talking about Paul done bought new equipment. Right, yeah. He done bought some new equipment to build them tents with yeah. anyway. I seen it. I he seen got them a camel. New he got a new camel. <laughs> yeah, that other camel all them years. All of a sudden, money missing. <laughs> Him and Titus got new sandals yeah. and camels and <laughs> equipment that he could build them tents with. He mm. think he's slick. Mm. Nope. But Paul said, we ain't letting that happen. Mm -mm. <laughs> so that's good. That the way your good don't be evil spoken. So basically of. accountability. Yes. Mm -hmm. And we have to use wisdom like yes, that. Yes, you have to. Especially with Israel because they ready. <laughs> they get ready some say, mischief yes. and foolishness. <laughs> Say you done something out of order. <laughs> All right, verse 21. Providing for honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. All right, and so this is what Paul is saying. So doing things right, not only in God's eyes, because we know he sees, but also mm -hmm. in men's eyes. Mm -hmm. And so, and that was the right thing to do. Mm -hmm. Somebody be done jump you, and, and you on the way taking the money back. Yeah. And somebody done knocked you out, took the purse and ring <laughs> with all the people money in it. They just going to swallow you. Yeah, yeah, that's what you saying, mm, somebody. That's what. That's mighty convenient. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Probably blocked your own eye too, huh? <laughs> yes. And yeah. so Paul said, mm -mm. no. That mm, way we all sure. carry this. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right. We're going to go to Titus 2, 7 and 8. Okay. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. In doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, 
sound speech that cannot be condemned, that he that is of the contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you. All right. And this is this is providing those for those honest things, not only in the sight of the Lord, but also in the sight of men. You're going to have what? A pattern of good works in doctrine. Mm -hmm. Huh? Not placating to the heathen That's to right. appease their ears, but teaching this book like it T.I. is. That's right. It say Israel, we going to say Israel. And we ain't going to say spiritual doctrine. Israel. We going to no. say Israel. That's right. Mm -hmm. Showing what uncorruptness, not mm -hmm. corrupt. Every time the plate of uh, money go by your lips salivating. <laughs> And you thinking about red bottom shoes you could buy or something. Mm -mm. Uncorruptness, gravity, I mean, and what? Sincerity. Sincerity. And when you're sincere about something, you, uh -huh. you're going to be honest in the way you deal with things. Uh -huh. And gravity, because you know uh -huh. it's a serious matter. Yes, it's serious. And what? Sound speech. Sound. That cannot be condemned. Uh -huh. And it can't get no sound of them when you're quoting yeah, this right here. That's right. Anything else, just know it. Mm -hmm. That's all. It says that he that is of the contrary part may be what ashamed, ashamed. having no evil thing what to, to say of you. you. So they'll be ashamed. They may be saying this, mm -hmm. but they'll be lying. That's right. Because what we got a pattern of good works. Right. Mm. All right. So now let us go back to about to finish this up. Second Corinthians eight and verse twenty three. Uh, 22. Oh, was it? 22. I'm sorry. No, I'm just jumping. <laughs> <laughs> All right, 22, y'all. And we have sent with them our brother, whom we have oftentimes proved diligent in many things, but now much more diligent upon the great confidence which I have in you. All right. And so it says, and we have sent with them our brother, whom we have oftentimes proved what diligently. I mean, this brother was dedicated mm -hmm. in what many, many things. things. I mean, family life, work life, church mm -hmm. life, just dedicated. Mm -hmm. Man, don't you love it? How much more diligently upon the great confidence which we have in you, mm -hmm. and which I have in you. So he's saying um, we sent with them our brother who, who's, who, who has proved many times that he is dedicated in many things. And even now, he's more dedicated because I have confidence in you. Because my confidence in you, this dedicated brother, oh, he coming, he, he going to be dedicated in what serving you all. Mm -hmm. But let's go to 2 Thessalonians 4. I mean, 1 Thessalonians. Okay. 4 and 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and verse 1. Furthermore, then, we beseech you, brethren, and exhort you by the Lord Jesus, that as you have received of us how you ought to walk and to please God, so ye would abound more and more. All right. And so um, Paul said, furthermore, we have, then we, ex we beseech you, brethren. Now he called me Thessalonians, brethren. brethren. Hmm. And exhort, or we encourage you by the Lord Jesus Christ, that as you have received of us, how you ought to what? Walk. Walk. And to what? Please, Please God. God. Why? Because people are watching. So we know that the Lord sees, mm -hmm. and also people see the way you walk. Mm -hmm. And so you should what? Abound mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. and more. You'll excel in this walk more and more. The more you walk with the Most High, and the more you you, you faithful in it, you sincere in it. I mean, you stand in this book, you keeping your nose clean, mm -hmm. you just gonna grow, you grow, just grow. Elevate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. That spiritual growth is. Yes. Mm -hmm. You look back and you can see the growth, the development. Mm -hmm. That's right. You just be elevated. Yes. High and high in the Lord. Yes. Mm -hmm. And that makes you confidence in a person like Paul was confident in them. Mm -hmm. You know, you see them, oh man, I'm confident in mm -hmm. You know, they, and actually the, the Corinthians didn't let that letter sway them to, to get their feelings so hurt that mm -hmm. they wanted to give up. But no, they proved to Paul, we got this, we got it together. We cleaned mm -hmm. that mess up. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. So back to Second Corinthians 8 and verse, what, 23? Uh, yes, ma'am. All right. 
whether any do inquire of Titus, he is my partner. Partner, he, he my partner. Now we ain't talking about he gay either. <laughs> Paul wasn't wearing no rainbow shirt and no short shorts. Talking about Titus, his partner. Get that straight now. He is my partner and fellow helper concerning you, or our brethren, or our brethren be inquired of. They are the messengers of the churches and the glory of Christ. All right. And so he, he said that he is our partner and what fellow, fellow helper, helper of you. So Titus is what a fellow worker concerning you. Mm -hmm. And that goes um, for the other brethren, too, that were inquired of. Mm -hmm. Or, or we say they were asked for, too, to come along. Mm -hmm. But they were what fellow helpers and partners as well. And it says they are what messengers of the, the churches. churches and what messages were they bringing the law mm -hmm. they, that's what they was bringing <laughs> <laughs> to help what this sec this church i keep calling them second Corinth to help the <laughs> corinthians grow in their walk so yeah. that what they would abound mm -hmm. more and more mm -hmm. you know what, what i like is i like the way that they see themselves mm -hmm. they don't see themselves as this big shot mm -mm. muckety duck mm -mm. They de they see themselves as I'm a laborer. Yes. Yeah. We're working Fellow together. Helper. We're helpers. That's right. Mm-hmm. That's, that's some right. humility right there. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. Because that's another issue too of why we can't help one another because we don't see ourselves as helpers. We see ourselves as the big. I'm I, the big dog. Yeah, I'm the big guy, and you the little you. And you the little you. Mm-hmm. It's not. It, it's not supposed to be that way. Mm-hmm. But unfortunately. In that's some that case, Babylon it is. Juice. Yes. Drinking that Babylon mm -hmm. juice. Cause that's the way they operate. Mm -hmm. Flex they little coat mm -hmm. jacket when they come in. Look at me. I'm the big dog on campus. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like we operate, do we? Mm -hmm. Adjusting they belts. And <clears throat> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So the last verse, 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 24. Wherefore, shew ye to them. And before the churches, the proof of your love and of our boasting on your behalf. All right. Wherefore show you unto them, to wherefore show you to them, and before the churches, the proof of your love and of your boasting, of our boasting on your behalf. So Paul is saying, when these men come, you show them these men the proof of your love and um, proof of all the churches that I prove to all the churches that I boasting. Um, about you is justified. Yes, you know you don't want to. You don't boast about this person, <laughs> and then people get it. They a mess. They're like, God, that was a hot mess. I don't know why they I ain't never coming yeah. back to no Corinthians. Yeah. Mm -mm. you don't want to be. That's that, embarrassing that. on your part. That's right. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it shouldn't be that way. But let what people say about you that's righteous be justified, mm -hmm. and you do that why by walking righteous. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. So that's all I have, Zahara. Yeah, you have anything else you want? That was awesome. Well, I enjoyed that. To the most high. <laughs> <laughs> all right, family. With that said, we will say shalom. Israel's church conversations. Couch conversations.